shower gel it's quite thick and heavy it's so expensive so the liquid soaps are always in hello everyone how are you all doing you humbly welcome back to my channel this is your girl Rufina Tank here and in this video I want to share with you all how shower gel is made so shower gel is a liquid soap that can be used for bathing so I want to demonstrate how we make it here in Ghana so I'll be demonstrating the whole process in this video so stay tuned and watch the video to the end so that you learn how shower gel is made you don't need to buy this anywhere because buying it the already made shower gel is very expensive you get to understand me if you make the shower gel yourself i uploaded a video on how liquid soap is made the procedure is not so different from that of shower gel the only difference is the ingredients the procedure is just the same so i'll leave a link to how the liquid soap is made on this video so watch out for that particular video so i'll just go over the ingredients these are the ingredients there so um this particular one so they usually separate the ingredients because you don't use everything you use part of the ingredients first then later you add the rest so what i'm holding is what these ones the perfume the essential oils and then the color these ones will be added later on in the process so this is what we are going to start with the base and then these ones this so this is what we are going to start with the salt, the base, and this one. So we are going to mix all these together as I go and start. So I'm just getting the salt ready. I'm pouring it in the basin, the salt. So this salt is about 1,000 grams. 1,000 grams. Then later we go in with our base. So it's advisable to wear gloves if you are allergic to some of these chemicals it's advisable to wear gloves so i'm getting the base in the base then the other ingredients will go in as well Ooh. I got this for 103 cd today is my second time of making shower gel on my own the piece of i've been making it a lot of times okay let me put this aside next is the water so this particular container contains um it's about 25 liters the container is about 25 liters and the water we are going to be using for the shower gel is about more than half of the this thing, container so that's the quantity of water we are going to be using so simply pour this So the next thing we are going to do is to stir, just stir, and mix everything. Because it's powder, you have to be gentle so that you don't have the powder flying over. Wow. So 
so the stirring is all about you trying to dissolve the chemicals i mean the ingredients so as i'm mixing you can see that the color is changing it's becoming somehow creamy i think everything is well mixed so at this stage i can now be adding the water bit by bit okay We are just going to stir, continue stirring until we get the desired consistency. So when all this is dissolved, that will be when we go ahead and add these other ingredients. The color and the perfume will be added. Those ones will be the last thing to add, especially the perfume. The perfume will be what we will add last. The perfume is what will give it that nice fragrance. So when you're bathing and someone is passing, say, mm, what soap are you using? Your soap smells so good. That's all because of the perfume. So, watch. So you can get these ingredients, the liquid soap, the shower gel ingredients in local stores. And if you're in Ghana, you get to the market, just ask the market women where you can get liquid soap ingredients to buy and they will direct you. These ingredients are very common to find. And I think it's very economical to make these things yourself because buying them, the already made ones, will be so expensive. The person will add the time, the packaging labels and all that so it will make the product very expensive but if you learn how to make it yourself it will be a lifesaver to you next i'll add in some water so about the ingredients anytime you go to buy these ingredients you don't need to worry so much about the content because usually the women put everything together they put the complete set together and sell to you so you don't need to worry about it um however sorry i'm not able to give you the individual names for the ingredients this is because the ingredients look so much alike Apart from the base, the boosters and the others, they are just the same. So it's very difficult to identify them. So forgive me on this one, but you don't have a problem so, anytime you go to buy the ingredients. As you can see, as you get keep everything on adding the water, the thin thickens. If you add in water, it becomes more thick. You see. coming thick again so it takes roughly close to not even 30 minutes to make it either liquid soap or shower gel in less than 30 minutes you'll be done with the whole process anyway maybe what you can say that will make it longer is waiting for it to settle What does this look like? <laughs> it's looking like ice cream to me. Well, hey, my basin might not be able to contain this.
please do well to watch the video i made on the liquid soap it is very helpful because it's liquid soap is a detergent you can use to wash your dishes and if you know how to make it yourself it will really save you a lot so do all well to watch that video i'll leave a link to that um how to make the liquid soap either in the description box or i'll pin it as a comment so you see all it's well formed everything is well incorporated so the next thing i'm going to do is to add the other ingredients to it so i'll set this aside this is a yellow color this day i told the woman that i wanted white color oh i might not put the color they have mine so these are essential oils and other things which i don't know i don't really know the individual names for these ingredients so i'm going to add this to it Tidy. So I bought all these things in Avrongo. If you're in Avrongo, go to Mama Rosemary's store. She's a hairdresser, but she sells these things as well. She sells all these things for liquid soap, shower gel. She sells them and other things. You can start up a business with this liquid soap business, shower gel, you name it. Okay. I think this is the essential oil. So if you have other this in, ingredients that you want to add to your um, shower gel, like aloe vera and then some herbs, you can blend them and add to it. I think they say neem is also good neem leaf is very good for the skin so if you get neem leaf too you can add to your liquid soap hey sorry your shower gel as well homemade is always better than any other thing just learn how to make this and you'll never regret it so since i've kept everything inside i'm not going to stay so usually you will not get the shower gel to be plenty as the liquid soap so i'm just going to add in our last water And if the need arrives, I'll add in more water. But if after stirring, if after stirring the thickness is okay, I won't add in more water. At this point, our shower gel is almost ready. So we need to wait for it to settle somewhere in the evening this will be ready so always make this somewhere in the evening then leave it overnight the following morning everything will be settled for you to use so basically we are done the last ingredients are these two the color and then the fragrance the perfume so i'll mix the color and then add a little to it so if you don't add color to you have the shower gel looking like water it will be colorless so i'm going to dissolve the color Ooh. so that we can add to it 
I don't know what to call this. Whether that yellow or orange color. I think it's orange. This is how it looks. So I'm just trying to dissolve it. Orange color. Let me add it. We are done with our shower gel. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and leave your comments. How did you find this video? Was this was this video helpful to you? So we are now going to set it aside and leave it to settle and attend to it in about six hours time. So in six hours time, we'll attend to it. So hoping that by that time, everything would have settled. So as you can see, there's still foam. So by the time it settles, all this foam will go. Yeah. So we are done. Let me just get this and throw away. So all this, I'm going to soak it in the container. I'm going to get soap out of this. So I'm just trying to rinse the palette in the rubber that the ingredients was inside. And look at what I just had. This can be used to wash one or two things. So this is one hour after making the shower gel. So the foam is still on top. We are waiting for the shower gel to settle down. Then we package it. So this is how it looks. All this foam has to go down, you see. We, we have to wait for it to, the foam to settle. This is also just an hour after making the shower gel. So we we'll wait. I'll show you when everything settles down. I'll show you how the shower gel turns out. Hello guys. Yeah, humbly welcome back to the channel. So this is uh, the next day after we made the shower gel. I was supposed to attend to this last night, but I was so busy with other stuff, so I couldn't update you on it. So this is the final result. This is how the shower gel is looking. So after everything, you leave it down for it to settle. This is what you're going to be left with. So the only ingredients you are going to be adding to it is the perfume. The perfume will give it that nice fragrance and all that. So I'll just pour it inside them we mix so basically that is all the liquid soap is hey eh, sorry the shower gel is all ready so this is how the perfume looks like the fragrance so i'll just open it and pour it inside this is your group. so my mother is assisting me to open it So I'm just going to gently pour it inside, then I'll go ahead. So the perfume is just to give it nice fragrance. So liquid soap, the liquid soap among the ingredients and that of the shower gel, there is always preservatives. So you can keep this, the shower gel, or if it is liquid soap that you made, you can keep it for a very long time because of the preservatives. Roughly, I'm not too sure, but we have kept liquid soap down for about three months. So I'm sure the shower gel too can keep it for about three months too as well because of the preservatives. So I'm just trying to mix the perfume. So as you can see, um, the whitish pad is still soap. That was the foam that was formed on top of the this thing. 
the soap yesterday when we finished making it and all this will dissolve with time so this is the consistency of the shower gel this is the consistency i hope you can see it this is the consistency of the shower gel it's quite thick and heavy and it lathers so well yesterday i didn't use all the color because i didn't want the color to be too much for me mind you uh, the color it doesn't stain yeah all the colors it doesn't stain so you are free to use the colors so this is the color that was left the color is okay so i'll not add i think it's okay for me so basically this is our shower gel our shower gel is ready can you see the jelly the jelliness how jelly it is shower gel the gel see it <laughs> our animals are announcing their presence that's a ship okay let's see how it is can you see that so basically that is it we are done making our shower gel and the fragrance is so nice i like the smell it smells so 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 good so please subscribe to my channel like the video leave your comments have you ever made a shower gel would you like to try this if you do try it let me know in the comment section how yours turned out until I come your way with yet another video, it's bye bye. Akia lady there. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.